Hey guys, welcome to another King Countdown. And this was a special, special request by our patron, Megan. Thank you, Megan, for making this request. She requested last time when we do Kara, so clearly she has a thing for DSP girl groups because Woo! we are going to rank rainbow title tracks. Yeah, rainbow. And we're pretty excited about this because we love rainbow. You know, we love doing like these throwback groups because we feel very strongly about these songs. And I feel very strongly about rainbow songs. I feel like I, I know Natalie's gonna disappoint me because I know there's songs that I like from rainbow that she didn't really like Why are you gonna fuck do that with. To me? I just know that there's songs that I really like that you didn't really care for at the time. So shall we get started? Let's go. Also remember, just because something is at the bottom in our least favorite, like doesn't mean we hate it, okay? Also for this video, we're doing nine tile tracks by Rainbow. We did exclude their last release, Aurora, because we personally haven't listened to it enough to fairly include it in the countdown, because we know it would automatically probably be last, so we didn't want to do that. Yeah. So we're doing it based on like their promoted like tile tracks. So to start off our list at number nine, Gossip Girl. I think naturally Gossip Girl does end up at the bottom because I mean like that song is just kind of like of its time. It's not the most high quality song but it is a song that I get down to just for nostalgic purposes. It's a good time. When I think that's like for a lot of second gen songs sometimes they don't really age well but like if you were there at that period like you know it's not the best but like you're gonna get down to it because it throws you back. And yeah. it's catchy. And I think it was obvious we both would probably put it last. Yeah it so. was pretty obvious. All right, moving on to number eight on our list. Sunshine. I knew you were gonna disrespect Sweet Dream. Okay, well, I knew you first, of all, it. first of all, it, it's not a song that I really listen to a lot from Rainbow, but like hearing it yeah. for this ranking, like, first of all, the video's kind of lame. Uh, vocally, it was a little, yeah, okay. So like, I vibed with it a little bit more than Gossip Girl, but I was like, yeah, this song. Like, Man, I know, I knew you were gonna put that song really low. You haven't really like talked about it before, but I, I knew that you didn't really like know the song that much or really care for it. <sighs> I put Sunshine. What? I really Slander. like that. Shut up. I really like Sunshine. I'm nothing against Sunshine. I just think out of all their songs, it just kind of falls there at number eight. But like, I listen to the song. I have a good time listening to the song. Like, I have no problems with the song. You're entitled to your wrong opinion. <laughs> wow, is that the one with Sweet Dream? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's You're a joke. joke. Number seven, like Rainbow. Number seven. Whoa. Tell me, tell me. Sunshine, then woo. I didn't know you felt so strongly about both those songs, honestly. How dare you? <laughs> All right, so I put Tell Me, Tell Me. It, it was a part of like that cute phase they had. I mean, it's part one of the Rainbow Syndrome album, which Sunshine is part two. I, mean, I really like Tell Me. I don't have a problem with it. I just feel like it's just a little lower compared to their other songs for me, but I still get down with Tell Me. I have a I have an old vocal cover of that song oh God. that you'll never see. I will link it in the description. No, you won't. <laughs> I put Wu. Like I said before, I have no problems with these songs. I just think Wu just kind of falls there. And Wu is a good time. I'm over the other songs. It's just, it's just at number seven. I don't know. Number six. Number six, Amanda will be like, why? Number six on our list. Mommy, tell me. Tell me. Tell Me Tell Me's are pretty close. Yeah. Originally, I actually had Woo and Tell Me Tell Me switch, but then I looked at it and I was like, I have much more of a deep connection with Tell Me Tell Me, so. A deep connection. I definitely had to put it a little higher during their little cute 
phase, I guess. Tell Me Tell Me I was my preferred song. I really like Tell Me Tell Me. It definitely gets stuck in my head. I love the video and everything. Like, I think like Sunshine was a little too cute for me. It was a little too cute for like Rainbow because I felt like Rainbow, you know, they're sexy girls. I, I felt like they were a little more mature than what Sunshine had to offer. I feel like Tell Me Tell Me was a good balance of cuteness. So why did you disrespect Mock? First of all, I know Mock is not like a Korean title yeah, track, it's Japanese. but it was such a like staple song in Rainbow's career, whether it was Japanese or not. It's kind of like Kara's Mister, like it yeah. just started off Japanese and they had like a Korean one, so we, we included it anyway. So I like didn't really hear this song until I, I knew Amanda. Amanda's the one who was like, have you ever heard of Mock by Rainbow? And I was like, no. And she's like, well, you gotta listen to Mock by Rainbow. You know, I didn't listen to a song a lot like Tell Me, Tell Me or whatever, but I feel like it's such a banger that I'm like, well, I have to put it like somewhere at least in the middle because I feel like it deserves that respect. You know, I mean, I don't I don't have a close attachment to it, so that's why it's not as high as some other songs, but it is a really good song. And I wish it would have been like a like a main Korean comeback like title track. Yeah, me too. It would have been nice to see them promote it. <laughs> in Korea, but yeah. Was that good enough for you? No, it's at number six, so I don't know. <laughs> so number five, top five, yeah. Number five, Black Shine. Shine. Very different songs. And I just say Sunshine. Yes, it was very cute and I do agree that it was a little bit out of what we were used to seeing of Rainbow because Rainbow was more like mature and sexy mm -hmm. and then they had like the cute phase. Sunshine makes me very like happy. I feel like some of the members ate it up, especially Jisook. I feel like that was her song. The dance is weird, this whole belly rub, but like there's something about the bubbliness and the happiness that I feel like it makes me happy and it's so catchy for me. And it's also one of my favorite album packagings. We actually have the album. You get a show and tell. Yeah, so let me show you why I love it. Oh, that's a pop up! You get the members up here and then the album down there. That's like so fucking cool, man. I never get tired of showing people this. I'm always like, y'all need to see this. Also, I really like the album content for this album and part one. Getting a chewing time! I picked Black Swan. And I remember when they came back with Black Swan, I was like, oh. holy shit. I was like, ooh, a dark concept. It was just different for Rainbow. Even to this day, the song structure is just so weird to me that I still go like, this part of the song should have been over here. And like, it's just not traditional. The second verse sounded like the bridge and it was just like really weird. So it makes you think, oh, the song's ending, but then it keeps going. And like, I'll never get over it, but I think it, that makes the song interesting. It's perfect. It keeps you like, you know, thinking as you're listening to the song, right? It's a, it's a banger. Moving on to number four on our list. Black Dream. So our Black Swans are really close. Yeah. But I also agreed that Black Swan was something different from Rainbow. It was creative. And I think I personally really enjoyed the structure because it fits kind of like the Black Swan theme. If you base it off the movie with Natalie Portman, it's like a psychological thriller. So I feel like the song fits the chaoticness okay. of the theme. So I personally love that. I mean, it's catchy. The I don't know, the song's a banger, they all look so good. And I feel like it's one of the title tracks that a lot of people remember from Rainbow. As Woody once said, it's perfect. Yeah, you um, put Sweet Dream up there. Yeah, Sweet Dream's number four. I feel like my top four are very nostalgic picks. Songs that when I got into Rainbow, those were the songs that were out. And I just love Sweet Dream because it's nostalgic. It has a special place in my heart. I know the video's whack. I know the video's whack. <laughs> if anything, I think when I found the song, I wasn't through the music video. I found it, like oh. I heard it. Then I remember watching the video and being like, yell at her. And I know what you mean by the vocals, like the layering of all their voices in the chorus is a lot. I feel like it wasn't clean. I get it. I know. It was the time. You had though. to be you there. You had to be you there. You had to you be had there. To but be there. I, it's still a good time. I like like that type of sound concept. Like it was kind of like a little dark, a little sultry, mature sound, and I really liked that. So uh, you had to be there. It's song. Awesome. <laughs> number three. Number three. I expect you to fuck with that song like that. You go first. Okay, so I picked A, another iconic 
song by Rainbow. That was probably the first song I found of Rainbow. 2011 is when I became active in K-pop, so that song was very fresh. And at the time, I was not used to sexy concept or anything sexy, so I was like, taken aback by how sexual it was. And even then it wasn't even sexual, it was just like what they were wearing. wearing. You know, there's just something sexy about high ponytails and their outfits, especially Miss Woody has this outfit. I think hers was like a tube top. I feel like sexy. one of my big sexual awakening was Rainbow in A. I remember watching and I was like, but the song is so good. It's classic. I feel like it's timeless. Like that song still slaps the period. Day. The shirt lifting dance. Like I was just like, is this appropriate? Are they allowed to be doing this? And like now obviously as an adult, I like very much appreciate it. So I picked food and I was also a little bit surprised too that it was as high as it is, but there is a reason. First of all, I love the song anyways, even when it came out. It was really like happy and kind of like had this cheery essence that like kind of lifts the mood, you know? Hearing it again, and like I've had this thought for a while when I listen to Woo, since it is their disbandment song, I feel it's like- It's not their disbandment song. Well, no, because Woo was their like disbandment song, I feel like that song, so the video is like all their colors, right? It showcases all their colors, it's simple, but like I feel like when they end the song with the whole like, it's kind of like a goodbye, it felt like, like I just see, and they're all standing there together. Like it kind of feels like it's the end of the show. Oh like God, that's definitely. it, like, like rainbows over. I've never thought of it like that. So like when I listen to the song, it kind of gets me emotional because it's like happy, but then it's like, all right, this is the end of a chapter. Like this is the end of rainbow. And they say their name in that song. They don't really say their name often in their songs. I just feel like the way it ends, it like hits. So I'm like, I'm like, the song makes me emotional even though it's a, a happy song. I gave me goosebumps. I like, feel a little emotional now. <laughs> <laughs> now I feel emotional. You have to watch it now because like when you watch the video, you listen to it, it makes you emotional because you're like, oh, this I've is I've never the thought end. about it like that because at the time- Her eyes are watering. <laughs> At the time, it didn't come out and it wasn't like- Of course, because, they, it, because it wasn't- And they like also didn't song. like disband or like part ways immediately after. Exactly. Now when I listen to it, I, I think of it as oh like, my God. like, oh, we're rainbow and like, this is the end, but we're always rainbow. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why Wu kind of has a special place in my heart, and that's why it's number two. All right. Now we're moving on to number two on our list after all of that. Number two. To Mine. me. was gonna be hot on your list because you've always talked highly about that song. Highly. So I'm like, I know Mock is gonna be at least in her top three. Well, it's because Mock, it kind of got this dance beat to it. And I think it's because it was originally like a Japanese track. And you know how Japan, they kind of go in with like the more dance element. It's so my style. It's a good time. I really do wish it was like a Korean title track and had its own thing. But it's such a good song. I do talk highly of it because I feel like a lot of people, it's kind of like a hidden gem. Like I feel like a lot of people don't really know about it if they yeah. know Rainbow because it was like a Japanese song. That was another song that I found just audio wise. I didn't know there was a video. I didn't know it was originally Japanese. I was just like, this song Search and discover. is so good. Like everyone needs to know about this song. I, I am an enthusiast. The man who knocks on people's doors like, have you heard of Mock by Rainbow? <laughs> So good. And I picked To Me. Oh my God, so definitely a throwback. To Me was actually shown to me by a friend of mine, like a middle school friend. She was like, hey, you need to check out this song. And this was like me being fresh into K-pop. The moment it starts, and Woody's in the car like, yeah. speaking truth. Yes! The oh, eh, oh, eh, oh, eh. Come, 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 come to me. Like, it's so catchy. The video's iconic. You got Hyung Khan from Ajax in that video. Hell yeah. You got Woody punching him in the face. You got her girls being like, we're gonna paint this car rainbow. Yes, I love that. There's just something about the song, the, like the orchestra, like the whole feel of it. It was elegant, it was beautiful. And I feel like it's definitely a song that I'll never get tired of. It's like an iconic rainbow track and it's fucking amazing. It's perfect. We're at number one. We're so hyper. Number one on our ranking of rainbow's title tracks is hey. To Me. We 
picked really great songs. For oh, hell yeah, the throwback. So as Amanda mentioned with A, but I will also go into a discussion about A. When I also saw it, my cousin had showed me this. So this is the cousin who got me into K-pop. She showed me this and at first I was like, I'm not feeling this. I don't know what the hell is. No I don't taste. know what the hell is wrong with it. It didn't take me that long to re-listen to it again and I was like, the shirt lift, iconic. And it's funny because I also thought it was sexy, but I like loved it. Like their outfits, the high ponytail, like they snatched with that comeback. And that was like one of their first comebacks, you know, like after Gossip Girl. I also thought it was their debut until Amanda was like, no, it's Gossip Girl. And I'm like, oh. A would have been too powerful, been really powerful. Of, a, of a debut. Yeah, it really would have. You um, gotta go through the awkward phase first. Before you, you get know? to that. I could go on a whole essay about A, but it's just definitely like a menace of timeless. I feel like it, it never sounds bad. Like no matter how many years it's been, still a song you can jam to. So my number one is To Me, which you just talked about. And I feel like I was getting a little excited. And I'm like, wait, I gotta talk about it too. To Me has always been my favorite rainbow song. Like nothing has ever surpassed With it. With reason. Even from the moment I've heard it, it was my favorite. And honestly, it's got all the elements I really like. Like I love violin and piano and songs. I and mean, I feel like honestly, that's probably where like my love for it stemmed from, like where it blossomed. And now I just appreciate it in every song that I hear. It was, it's got that dramatic feel and it's so catchy. And I love the video and the ballet scene. Yeah. And, the, and they all look yeah, so good. Like, and then like Yunhei with the short blonde hair. I was like, I think I bias her. I forgot to song. mention too that Woody's rap in To Me. I feel like her best raps are in A and To Me. So I just wanted to point that out because her raps are fire. I love Rainbow. So that concludes our ranking of Rainbow's title tracks. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Let us know what your favorite Rainbow title tracks are in order. Thank you to our patron, Megan, for requesting this video. We had a lot of fun, as you can see. We were very happy. <laughs> if you don't want to miss out on any other rankings, you can subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss out. And also, if you want to stay updated with whatever we got going on, follow our Instagram, K underscore junkie, so you don't miss out on anything. And if you haven't yet, make sure to check out our podcast, Talk Dyke. Find it on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts. We talk about everything K-pop. Check it out. Also, if you want to be able to make special requests, kind of like Megan did for this video, you can check out our Patreon page to join a tier. You can get special benefits, request benefits, participation benefits. Check out a tier and join one. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. You know, like, you think Rainbow... Sorry, God. Am I boring you? Yeah. She's like playing the lizard in the window. Hey, girl, get it. She got it. Oh, my God, there it is. Oh, she took it out of the bed. Where is it? She took it out of the bed. All right, let's just finish oh. this.